Good day, everybody. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the best educational resources I have found on the internet. Now, I found these because I was trying to do dual enrollment between my homeschooling high school and our local community college, but you actually have to register at grade 9 in order to get in at grade 11. So I was kind of stuck up the creek without a textbook. Well, I took a quick look around the internet and was trying to find something else to supplement my knowledge. And I actually found that there are a lot of sites that cater to people in my situation, and they might be catering to yours. So whether you're in high school and would like to take some college classes for fun, or you're in a college but can't afford to do other classes but you know, want to learn them, these are some great online classes. Some of them you can just watch and learn the things, but some of them you can actually earn certificates of completion. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first one we're going to talk about you probably recognize because it is hosted by that man there. His name is John Green. He's a young adult author and he's also the host of Crash Course. This is a YouTube channel that he runs with his brother where they talk about a wide range of topics. John Green here has talked about world history, American history, and literature in a very entertaining way. Now his brother Hank has talked on several completely different topics such as chemistry, microbiology, and ecology. Together they cover a wide amount of knowledge in a very funny way. Example, Daleks in world history class. However, they also teach you large amounts of information which you can digest and remember because of the humor. It's a free thing here on YouTube, however you can support them on their website, subbable.com. Okay, on to our next class. The next website we're going to talk about is Khan Academy. It's very, very popular, even having, you know, ads outside of the internet, that being TV. Khan Academy hosts a lot of different classes, and one of the reasons that it's so interesting is that you can take not just a class, but just a lesson in one thing. Remember the information, it will show up on this main kind of checkerboard that you can mark your progress with. And they can go back and learn the same thing or a different thing, complete the class later. There's no commitment to one area of study once you sign up for the course. You don't actually have to sign up for the course, you just sign up for the website and take the classes. It's very fun, very well presented. I'm currently taking the art history one from this site and it's really, really good. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Coursera. Org. This site is great. I'm currently taking a study of Tolkien in both video game, book, and movie from Vanderbilt University, free, via this online course. I'm learning a lot from it. Unlike Khan Academy, where you just take one lesson at a time and learn it, this you actually have to sign up for classes, generally in advance. See your course through to the end, answering quizzes. And in the end, you get a certificate of completion. I was almost going to sign up for one that was the history of film from like 1920 to the 1970s, showing the evolution of it. The one I'm taking now, like I said, is one on Tolkien. I have to answer the questions that come out on a weekly basis. So it's much more like you're actually in a college learning from a class. However, it's free and fun, and you can do it in your own time and like, you don't have to get up early in the morning to rush to school. And, like, I just, I just take the class in bed. It's awesome. Our next website is Academic Earth, which gives you a long list of things that you can study that I'm not going to say, so you're going to scroll by right here. This is based on MIT's Open Course, which will be the next one that we talk about. They have over 750 classes that you can take in all of the subjects that you're seeing right there. And not only can you pick subjects, you can also pick colleges. Some very good ones are in this list. I personally haven't taken any courses from them, but I haven't heard any bad reviews about this website. So, if you want to do something a little bit more intense than Khan Academy, you can check out Academic Earth. Let's go on to our next one. On to our next one, which is OpenCulture.com. I've used OpenCulture before to get sound samples of classical music, but they also offer many different classes college-wise. You can get these classes via downloading them like a video or an audio file and listening to them, or you can take M-O-O-C, Massive Online Classes. Archaeology to Social Studies, you can get credits for this class, but also it's a really great resource for old movies that don't have any copyright, and also old music that doesn't have any old copyright. Like in our Pepper Challenge video, we had this very climactic piece of music before Hall of the Mountain King, that I got from open source. It's one of those other classical music I just like to listen to. So it's really just a great resource for creators and people who want to learn stuff. Okay, now our last one. 
And now on to the last one that we're going to talk about. It's MIT's Open Course where it's any of the classes that you could take at MIT, but online and for completely free. They have material from over 21, that's not the right number. They have material from 2,150 classes with 125 million visitors to their site. What makes this really interesting is it's MIT, a really prestigious university, and yet all of their classes are online for free. I could say I took a class from MIT when you're not taking classes at MIT. They also have a very big list of um, classes that you could sign up for, uh, so I highly recommend you go and check that out. And they're all pretty good. So, Crash Course, SciShow, Khan Academy, Academic Earth, Open Course Software, Coursera, and MIT Courseware. Yes! Okay, these are all great online resources that you guys could all check out if you want to further your education or supplement it as it is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, have you taken any courses that I did not list? If so, please put them down in the description. I might do a second part to this video. Be sure to subscribe for more educational and geeky content, and I will see you guys later. Bye!